Hey friend, welcome to Prana Fusion, a free yoga tutorial that teaches you how to upgrade your entire nervous system, make you stronger, healthier, more vibrant, so that you can maintain a happier state day to day. My name is Ethan Hill, and if you're discovering this via YouTube, I recommend you head to my website, linked in the description below. There you'll gain access to the entire free tutorial, and you'll have context for what we'll be doing in this particular video. And what is this nervous system hack? It's called pinging, and it's very simple. Take an upright seated position and close your eyes. And simply ask yourself, where is your posture imperfect? Right now, where is your posture imperfect? That simple query, that simple ask is pinging. It is you being curious in your body and asking your brain where in your body you are weak or collapsed or diseased. The answer you get back is very often intuitive, meaning you're not going to hear a very subtle whisper in your ear saying, levator claviculae muscle, right? Instead, you're going to get an answer back in one of two forms. Either it's going to be a little ping on your body, just a quick intuitive blip like a sonar detects an incoming missile. Or number two, you'll get a general feel for where the body is underactive with almost a three-dimensional rendering of your body's overall activation. Like this is how a heat map might work, where red is tense, blue is relaxed, and green is somewhere in between. Now we'll actually give it a real go. I want you to head into what's called cobra pose or upward dog. You can check me out here for guidance, but the very important part is that your wrists are right underneath your shoulders so that you can lock out your elbows. Now, if it's cold outside or if it's early and you haven't moved or used your body yet, just do a couple flexations of the back so that you're not starting too cold, meaning circle it around, arc back and forth, look over one shoulder, look over the other, get your entire spine wagging. Whenever you've found some sort of equilibrium, Spread your fingers a little bit more. Maybe toss your head back in space ever so slightly. And close your eyes. From here, we're going to meter ourselves to learn where we need to grid lock and then perform circuit breakers. So just ask your body, body, where on my spine am I weak? And let it show you. Find out which of your vertebra and the muscles around the vertebra are the least active right now. That becomes your target. That becomes where you will gridlock. So whenever you're ready, we'll begin the exercise. So when you inhale, I want you to push through your hands and try to squeeze that area that was pinged. Maybe you just start lightly, especially with the back bends. This can be more challenging and more sensitive. So maybe it's just 10% activation. Good. Exhale. Relax a little bit. Maybe you come forward, even dropping the head. You can go all the way down or you can just round the spine ever so slightly. Relaxing fully where you were just flexing. And then try again. Inhale. And start squeezing the body. If you can start ramping up, maybe it's up to 15 or 20% activation. Maybe there's an engagement of your pelvic floor as well. Remember, you are squeezing the places that do not typically have energy flowing through them, not your regular patterning. Exhale, relax everything. Again, inhale. Squeeze and try to get the lowest possible vertebra engaged. And notice how challenging this is. If you've never squeezed these particular points on the body, never flexed them, then this entire thing is kind of a crapshoot. It's kind of a guessing game. I say I'll let it all go. Again, ping yourself before you begin. 
go into the center of your skull. If you're familiar with gravity yoga, this is an extension of that. You go into the center of your skull and you just ask yourself a question. Where do I need to get stronger? And it might be multiple locations. It might light up an entire area. Don't judge. Next inhale, squeeze that particular spot. Imagine electricity flowing from your brain stem down your spinal cord and integrating itself into the muscles of your back. Squeeze even harder, like 30, 40%. Yes, let go. This next one, I want you to notice if your front body is at all squeezed. That's not what we want. We want to distribute the energy that was in the front body because it's opening. It should be relaxed to the back body, to the spine. Inhale. Bottom to top, try to get your spine to glow evenly, to radiate evenly in your mind. Yep, even the base of the head. Three, two, one. Relax everything. One more time. You ready? Biggest squeeze yet. How far can you go? Inhale. Carefully but steadily engage the entire spinal column. Make it red hot with energy. You can feel temperature fluctuation. Three, Two, one. Or flip onto your back, Shavasana. Final note, I will say you could spend quite a long time hypothesizing or theorizing where it might be best to flex or activate. You could even hire a physical therapist or a yoga instructor to come point out where exactly you're weak. All of this is fine, but I do recommend just going with your first instinct. Because even if you're wrong, even if technically this isn't the best or most effective use of your time to squeeze this particular location, you are still saving time by just picking a spot and going for it right away, rather than spending minutes playing intellectual games with yourself. I'll encourage you to rest in Shavasana for another 30 seconds or a minute or so, but once you're done with that, you can go ahead and head to the next page where you're going to learn our hack number two, which is called Blowing Bubbles. See you there.